All right. Um, so ladies and gentlemen, we looked at our general definition of i. i, we said, represented the square root of negative 1. Right, Zach? Everybody's cool with that? Might not still understand it, but you agree with it, right? Yeah. So what I want to do is I want to figure out what about i to higher powers? So what could those represent? So if I said i to the higher power, if I go, what would i squared be? Well, to get i to i squared, you have to multiply i times i, right? So therefore, I'm going to have to multiply i on the other side. So I can multiply this by negative 1, square root of negative 1 times square root of negative 1. Right? That's kind of the same thing. i times i is the same thing as square root of negative 1 times square root of negative 1. So therefore, we get i squared equals, well, what's the square root of a number times the square root of a number? Just negative 1. All right? Just remember that this becomes negative, I, negative 1 squared, the square root of negative 1 squared. So the square root and the squaring are inverse properties. So they're going to um, just leave out. You're not going to actually apply them to your negative 1. So then we get negative 1. Now let's multiply by i again. So that's the same thing as doing negative 1, um, sorry, negative 1 times i. So what if I multiplied an i on both sides again? Well, that would leave me with i cubed is equal to negative i. So if I said to you, you know, what is the value of i? You say the square root of negative 1. And if I say, what's the value of i cubed? You could say, well, that's negative i. Then let's multiply by i again. Why not, right? This is so much fun. i to the fourth would be negative i squared times, I'm sorry, negative i times i. Well, a negative i times negative i, so we get i to the fourth equals a negative i squared. i squared is negative 1. I'm sorry, it's a negative negative 1. Sure. Where would you like me to go back to? OK. Do you understand what I'm multiplying by i? Do you multiply? OK, so I multiply by i. So I'm right here. I multiply by i again. Just multiply an i on both sides. So you multiply an i on the left side and multiply the i on the right side. OK? i times i squared. i times i squared is i. Well, now I'm kind of moving my work. i times i squared is i cubed, right? i times negative 1 is i, right? Any What's 3 times 1? What's 3 times negative 1? OK. What's x times 1? x. What's x times negative 1? Negative x. So treat i just like it would be like a variable or even a number. So i times negative 1 is negative i. Does that make sense? OK. Yeah? You're just multiplying by a negative 1 is going to make a negative. Down here? Yes, yes. So yes, i cubed equals negative i. Correct. So then what I did to get. Well, we can think about it. Um, if you guys want to get a value, if you said i is equal to the square root of negative 1, then we say what's negative i? That means you just divide by negative, you multiply by negative 1 on both sides. Therefore, negative i equals negative square root of negative 1, if you wanted to look at it as a real, as a number visionary. But I know I'm not concerned about that. All I want you guys to be concerned about is i cubed equals i negative i. Then I go to i, so then I multiply by i again. i cubed times i is i to the fourth. So what happens when I multiply a negative i times i? One's negative, one's positive. So let's look at it. Let's just think about it, guys. Negative i times i. That means, so you multiply on both sides. So therefore, i to the fourth equals a negative i times i, which means you're going to get negative i squared, right? Negative x times x is negative x squared. 
right? Therefore, what's i squared? i squared is negative 1. So it's negative, negative 1, which ends up being i to the fourth equals positive 1. All right? So you guys don't need to know how to like, re like recreate that. 